Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Loveland, or Loveland, where I'm going to be playing as a detective investigating people going missing. My investigation is going to take me to rural Ohio, to a trailer park where apparently I'm going to find a frog-worshipping cult. If you want to investigate a frog-worshipping cult as well, the links and the details, as always, are down below in the description for you, alright? I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, show me some love down below in the comments or like the video. Either one really helps me out. But this is the demo to Loveland. Here we are then, Loveland, Ohio, September 19th, 1991. I'm an agency detective working in the Cryptid Division. So the agency I work for, I think, is somewhere in between something like FBI's X-Files and the SCP Foundation, I suppose. Something like that. Just and here we are, we're in control. And I can honk the horn, alright. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, okay, I can turn the wipers on. And I can turn the lights off. Probably want to keep them on, honestly. Yeah, there you go. What we got down here? Oh, it's a cassette. For the last couple of months, ah. there have been several missing persons reported out of Loveland, Ohio. <laughs> Initially, we had very little to go on until about one week ago. All right. Mr. Buchanan, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town, contacted the Loveland authorities to report strange happenings from within the park. Okay. He claimed that the other members of the community had begun worshipping frogs and have formed a cult whilst also kidnapping the local townsfolk. Huh. We are oh, dispatching you to investigate these reports and determine exactly what it is we are dealing with. What was that? Good luck, detective. We know you'll need it. <laughs> Sounds like they have absolutely no faith in me. Right, okay, so while I was driving, very unsafely, I opened the glove compartment and my briefcase, and it looks like there's something in both, so let's see. Uh, this is my mapping kit. I've already sketched out the surrounding area. Okay. And down here? My flashlight. It's the only piece of equipment the agency lets us bring. Strange, but alright. And there's something else, too. Again, from the agency. This is the mission briefing. Eight days ago, Agency Communication Operatives, ACO, intercepted a phone call directed towards the Loveland Police Department. Mr. Buchanan, a resident of a small trailer park on the outskirts of town known as Loveland Cove, was contacting local authorities to report cult-like behaviour from within the park. Mr. Buchanan, who resides in Trailer 102, indicated that the residents have begun worshipping a new species of frog that's emerged from the lake. This has led to the residents committing various atrocities in the name of the frogs, including, but not limited to, abduction and homicide. Wow. You've subsequently been dispatched out to the area to investigate these reports and determine if anomalous activities have occurred. Remember, detective, you're to operate in complete secrecy. Do not divulge any information that may compromise you or the agency. Okay, duly noted. There's something else as well. Uh, it's my ID. Probably shouldn't go waving this around unless absolutely necessary. Okay. All right. So... Loveland Cove. Let's go. I'm loving the level of interactivity. It's actually quite impressive. Right. So, F for the flashlight. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing quite a few frogs already, actually. So, let's see. Where do I start? Do I just go trailer to trailer? Oh, I should start by checking in on Mr. Buchanan in trailer 102. I guess 102 is going to be over here, right? Let's see. Oh, locked. Okay, I guess I won't be stealing a car today. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, this is actually 201. But, I don't know, can I do it my own way? Looks like there's someone in. Yeah, knocking on the door. Yeah, someone's coming. Yeah, who is it? He says. Uh, oh, I have a choice. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to tell him that I'm working for the agency, obviously, but I might say, yeah. Good evening. I'm with the police. I've got a few questions about missing persons last seen in this area. You talking about those missing folks from around town? I ain't seen any of them around here. Our intel says otherwise. Well, I'm not going to show him that. Uh, you haven't seen anything at all? Are you sure? You haven't noticed anything strange going on around the area? Residents acting out of the ordinary? Nope. Not a damn thing. Now, officer, would you kindly get the hell off of my porch? Wow, okay. Uh, maybe I could have chosen better options. That didn't really go too well, did it? And I guess that's that. 
Well, I wasn't meant to be going there anyway. I should be going to 102. Um, I guess this is going to be 101? I don't know. Well, let's see. I've got a map, right? And it's tab for the map. All right, so... Okay, area clear, undiscovered evidence. It looks like uh, 201, the area is clear, and there's no more evidence. But uh, yeah, 101 ahead of me. It looks like there's something to find. Let's see. Uh, well, there is a light on over there. No answer, but it's unlocked. So I'm going to let myself in. Is that how we operate in the agency? Oh, wow. Looks like we've got a hoarder on our hands here. Okay. What's this? All right. Five more missing in Loveland. Another five people have been reported as missing in Loveland, Ohio, including the 18-year-old daughter of the newly appointed minister of the Heartland Church of Christ. This brings the total number of persons to have vanished in the previous weeks to eight. Police are requesting that anyone with any information on the missing persons to contact their tip line. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we've got a couple of doors here. Oh. Oh, it's blocked. Blocked by more boxes, by the looks of it. We still have access to the toilet and, uh, <laughs> and a pan, apparently. Oh? Oh! I, hopefully I didn't flush down any evidence. <laughs> Again, I like that you can do that. You can mess with the sink as well. Brilliant. Can't open the drawer or the cupboard, though, unfortunately, but yeah. The interactivity's great. Right, so, let's see. Looks like there's something... Ah, right, okay, we can crouch. I was using control. But, oh, you clumsy sod. Right, um, hmm. We're gonna have to clean this up in a minute, I suppose, but over here, there is something. Pick up crickets and mealworms from the bait shop. Feed children. Check in on Jeremiah, traitorous bastard, in 104. Change out the jugs in the stills. Bathe in his glory. Okay, <laughs> something down here as well. Wait, is that- it's a fuse! This might be useful later on. Hey, it's a horror game. Probably, right? Probably. Good stuff. Alright. What we got inside here then? Okay. What's this? Frog shine. Frog shine? What's this? Moonshine mixed with frogs? I should bring a sample of this back to the lab. <laughs> okay. Alright, well there you go. There's, uh, there's some evidence. Okay, more boxes, more newspapers and stuff around there. Another blocked door. Jeez. Anything else? There's a filing cabinet. Alright, with files. But uh, nothing that I want to take a look at, I guess. Um, Alright. Okay, it looks like we can go out the back. Alright. So, hang on. It looks like we're actually done with trailer 101, and 102 is right in front of me. 102 is the one I actually should be going to. That's where Mr. Buchanan lives. Uh, and it looks like uh, the door's already open for me. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Oh, hang on. Oh, the bedroom's been ransacked. What's going on here? That heathen Jeremiah went to the cops. Gather the flock. We need to be ready in case they come around, sniffing where they shouldn't be. As for Jeremiah, find him. Bring him to me. The Lord has special ways of dealing with a Judas. Pastor Abram. Ooh. Right. Okay. Nothing else down here? No? Strange. Very strange. This place looks okay, but yeah, they ransacked the bedroom. Okay. Right, let's let's check the toilet before I flush this time. Okay, nothing down there. <laughs> All right. Let's see, can we? Yeah, let's turn that off. Phone's off the hook. Oh, hang on. I can call someone. Oh, who should I call? I don't know. <laughs> uh, True Believer Radio, the agency hotline, or Timmy Tom's Pizza Bomberia. It's tempting to call for a pizza, honestly, but maybe the agency hotline? <laughs> Alright. Thank you for calling the agency hotline. Okay. Please enter your agency badge ID. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, detective. Please choose one of the following menu options. 
Press 1 for detective tips, 2 for verbal support, or 3 to hang up. Uh, right. Should we, should we get some verbal support? You've chosen verbal support. Yes, I have. You're a successful detective with a beautiful family. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Go get him, champ! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I was hoping for something a little bit more useful, but alright, what we got down here? When them frogs first showed up, I thought they were harmless. Hell, maybe even a little cute. Boy, was I wrong. Just touching one sends you flying higher than a kite. Not only that, you feel this strong connection. Almost like God himself was calling out to you. Wasn't long before Pastor Abram was holding up the frogs, declaring them our saviour, and everyone believes him. Now people from town are showing up as missing. What's going on out there? Ooh. Alright, hang on, hang on. I saw something funny on the way here. What's going on with this place, exactly? <laughs> I'm liking this so far. Yeah. I'm really liking this. Okay, so it... Wait, are you back? I guess I can only see you through the windows. Yeah. Strange. I'm being watched, though. Frog repellent. Right, I actually might want this. Uh, one part lemon juice, one part vinegar. Mix in a pot and bring to a boil. Pour into spray bottle and apply liberally to a frog. Right, so this will be the spray bottle. I can fill it with frog repellent. Right. Uh, I need to find some lemon juice. We can even mess with the dials and the hobs and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, hang on. What's this? Uh, oh, this is vinegar. Right. That will be the, the second ingredient. But I'm actually looking for lemon juice. Maybe that's somewhere around here as well. <laughs> Not in the freezer. But in the fridge? Ah, there you go. Right. So let's see. In goes the lemon juice. Then the vinegar. Alright, we just gotta wait for it to boil. And it looks like it's boiled. This should help keep the frogs at bay. <laughs> right. Is that what you are out there, a frog? Hmm. Okay. No sign of Mr. Buchanan. No sign of Jeremiah. Alright. Oh yeah, they uh, they don't seem to like that. Are we done with... Yeah, it looks like we're done with trailer 102. And this is marked as well. It's an electrical conduit. It probably controls the power in the park. Ah, right. Everything seems to be working A-OK -okay for now. Right, okay, hang on. Let's uh, Let's just take this, you know, sort of row by row. So, over here, we actually don't have a trailer, but we've got a little playground by the looks of it. Press space to jump, just like a frog. Alright. Yeah, I don't think this is really the time for me to jump around in a playground, so uh, up here to 202. Is anyone in? <laughs> this is becoming a habit, isn't it? I'm just letting myself in. Alright. I am the perfect vessel. I hear them, whispering to me. I feel them, inside of me. I tell my loves, soon, they will be free. The hell is going on here, man? Alright, we've got another bathroom. Nothing in the toilet, unfortunately. Through here, though? Let's see. Looks like there's something on the bed. Thomas is the most enchanting man I've ever met. As the Lord speaks through him, I can't help but hang upon his every word. He says the Lord speaks of a second great flood that will come and wash away the wickedness of this world. But he promises that if we devote ourselves to the Lord, he will shed us of our current bodies and mold us into his form. I feel no fear as I stare into Thomas's eyes. There is only a deep love. I trust him to guide us. He is our Messiah. Yeah, all right. It looks like a piece of a medallion. All right. Okay. Just changing the station. Right, what else have we got here? Anything down here? Some clothes? Let's see. You should always work from the bottom up in games. It's a lot easier. Ah, just more clothes. Right. But Whoa! Uh, wow. What the? Whoa! What? Oh, hello. What in the hell is going on? What? Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit, I'm blocked in. 
The door is blocked by a heavy bookshelf. Damn. Just like the bedroom before. Someone's ransacked the place. Right, okay, hang on. There is there is something over here that I want to have a look at, though. Look at this. Hatching day. September 19th. That That's today. Today is hatching day. Right, okay. Anything else down here? Let's see. Oh, hang on. Ah, wait. That's, uh, that's another fuse, isn't it? And maybe I don't need it. But okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, what's this? It's a wallet with an ID. The picture on the ID looks like one of the missing persons. Interesting. Right, there's more evidence that I've picked up. Who did that? And if they're blocked in, are they, are they blocked in with me? Oh, okay, I can move that out of the way. There's something over here, too. Bear witness to their birth. There's something happening out on the lake. So there is. Hang on. Ooh. All right. Green robes. I like it. It's a frog cult, after all. Makes sense. What's that at the end? Is that a body? Oh, hang on. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm actually standing on top of a book. I look upon the lake and know my time is drawing near. I should be overjoyed, but all I feel is disappointment. I thought Thomas would be proud that the Lord chose me as a vessel for his children. Instead, he raised his voice in an anger that can only be matched by the fiery pits of hell. But what was I to do? Deny the Lord his children? I couldn't do that. So here I wait, alone. Uh, it looks like they've gone. Oh. Oh, right. This is a broken window. Ah. That's how he escaped. Right. And we've got a gate here. Nah, it's blocked by a bunch of wood. Can I not kick it down? I guess not. Something over here? They came from the water with their gift to bring unto us eternal bliss. Just a drink, the whispers say. Embrace warmth. Fade away. Let him in, they begin. You'll be one. You'll carry his kin. Right. Okay. I think I know what's happening here. Uh, I think I know what's happening to the people that are going missing, but it's pretty outrageous, honestly. I really want to go through there, though. Yeah, there must be there must be another gate or something, right? Let's see. Okay. This is all barbed wired, so I I, I can't climb over. All right. Okay. There is a gate here. Oh. Why did all the streetlights suddenly lose power? Ah, uh, and why did I pick up that fuse from earlier, right? Look at this. Ah, right. I need some kind of medallion to unlock the gate. I do, I do, right. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's go get the power on first. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, I've got a spray. I'm not afraid to use it. That is a frog man, right? The people around here are getting changed into frogs. Is that correct? I think so. And look, yeah, one of the fuses is missing. Good thing I found one earlier. There you go. Alright. There. The gate should be powered now. Right, right, right. Uh, so here we are. 103. Um, yeah, so 203, 103, and 104. I still need to investigate. There's a frogman on the other side of this place. Let's see. Anyone in? The lights are off. Nothing. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's something down here. My grandson, Tyler, is finally ready for the end of days. I won't lie. I didn't trust Abram at first. Forcing a child to drink alcohol? It seemed like madness. But he kept insisting he drink the frog shine. And wouldn't you know it, it worked. Tyler's taken on the Lord's form and is ready to survive the Great Flood. Thank you, Pastor Abram. Yeah, thank you, Pastor Abram. Right. Let's see then. More of this frog shine stuff. What should I do? Do I drink it or do I walk away? I want to drink it. I really want to drink it to see what happens. Apparently it gets you as high as a kite, right? But I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. At least for now. Okay. Just checking if there's anything else around here. There's... Oh, okay. It's locked. There's got to be a way to get it open. Hmm. Right. 
Um, around here. Oh, look at this. A screwdriver. I can use this to open the locked door. Hey, hang on. Something in here? No. Nah, nothing in there either. All right. Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a lot to have a look at in this game, it seems like. Here we are. Oh, wow. What the hell? Is that a lily pad? Oh, wait. It's part of some kind of medallion. Right, that's going to be, I guess, the left side. I guess I need to find the right side as well. Oh, boy. Right, yeah. Just agitated the frog. Probably shouldn't have done that, really. Okay, nothing down there. Anything in the shower? I can turn it on. Maybe I need it. <laughs> Nothing more sobering than a cold shower. Ah, oh, this is great! Okay. Okay, so I think there's two more trailers to have a look at. I don't know if the frogman is still outside. Oh, yep, yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ! Are you meant to be there? I saw you from the window, but are you actually meant to be there? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, fair enough. I think the game has a little bit of a bug. I think he probably should have disappeared, but uh, we've got 104 and, uh, I guess, 204 over here. And it looks like someone might be inside this one. Let's see. Okay. I saw a spider's web. There's more spider's webs. And spiders, too. Huh. This trail is covered in spiders. What the hell is going on in there? Well, let's go find out, shall we? The TV's on, but maybe no one's home. Yeah, all right. In I go once again. Ah, oh, the dial's been removed. I can't actually turn this off. There's something down here, though. The Lord has blessed us with a gift from heaven. A way to survive the upcoming end of days. We must tend to the Lord's children, to love and embrace them. In return, he promises to bless us with a new form, one that can withstand 40 days and 40 nights of torrential rain. Yet, while we toil in his garden, feeding and breeding, cultivating this gift, the local heathens taint it, they dilute it, poisoning it, muddying his word. These sinners will never truly be saved. Wow. So many boxes, so many bugs, so many spiders around here. I suppose that's what frogs like to eat, right? What's this? Hmm, it's covered in some kind of goop. Maybe I should clean it off before taking it. Okay. Huh. Oh, I thought I was going to clean it off when I left clicked it. Oh, man. Okay, so... Whoa! Oh, jeez. I probably should have cleaned that off first. What the fuck is going on here? Strange. The audio has been reversed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Things are getting really interesting now. Okay. Am I meant to be following the frog? It's like it's leading me. It's leading me over here. Okay. <laughs> Is this essentially like showing my objective in dead space? I've just got to follow the line. There we go. Right. And that's going to get the gate open? That's going to get the gate open, right. There's still one more trailer that I haven't had a look at, though. Let's see. Uh, would this be the back door? Probably. Let's see. Oh, man. I am far too high for this. It's locked. I, I wonder if there's a key around. Oh, maybe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I, I, I gotta shake this off. Is this gonna be, you know, my vision for the remainder of the game? Right, so we're looking for a key. Maybe the other side isn't locked. Uh... You, Mr. Hulking Frogman, do, do you have a key? I don't think you've got a key. Wow, you don't even look real right now. You don't look like you're there. What is going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to shake it off. Oh, this is locked too. Okay, can't go in there. 
Oh, it's a key. Looks like it's a trailer 104. Hey, you know what? Where? Hang on. Let me go in here. Yeah. That cold shower, that actually might help me, right? Excuse me. Get out of the way, please. Oh, hang on. Did I kill it? Maybe I killed it. Wait, is that Tyler? Ribbit. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry, Tyler. Hopefully this isn't permanent. I think I'm just imagining this, right? Oh. Maybe I didn't need the shower after all. I think I think it's worn off. Maybe all I need to do is talk to a frog. Right, okay. Well, I have the trailer key, so let's go in, shall we? 104. Okay. Oh, the key broke off in the log. But I can still go in. Right. Okay. Looks like something's cooking. Uh, can we turn it off? I can turn all the others on, but no, I can't actually turn that one off. What's this? Mixing the moonshine with the frog snot was a stroke of genius. The alcohol cuts back on the psychedelic effects, letting us stay connected to the Lord while still being able to walk and talk. Unless, of course, you drink too much. I've been sneaking it to people at the bar I work at. You can always tell when it hits them. You see the Lord's love in their eyes. Usually only takes a shot or two before they decide to join our flock. Such is the power of the Lord. Yeah, well, I just experienced the power of the Lord. Nothing in the bread box, no? Right. Frog shine? No. No. Not doing it. Not this time. Alright. Nothing on TV. Let's see. Oh, this is where it's being made. Yeah, this is where they make the frog shine. Wow. Okay. What's going on here? The door is boarded up. A crowbar would be helpful right about now. A crowbar. Have I seen a crowbar? I don't think so. But maybe I can find one. Okay, I can unlock the door from this side. Um, so let's have a look at the map. It looks like we're done with every trailer but this one. And I suppose... Well, we haven't gone up here yet, have we? I put that medallion together at, uh, at great psychedelic cost. So, yeah. Let's go up here and let's see what I find. I've got my spray ready. This must be Abram's trailer. Let's see if he's home. Right. Ooh. Okay. I guess so. Or maybe they're coming on automatically. Let's see then. Up here? It's the double wide. Of course he gets a double wide. No answer. Not surprising, or well, not at this point, no. I better have a look inside. Okay. Alright. Nothing in the microwave? No. Let's get the light on. There we are. Hmm. He's, uh, he's a fan of Jesus, yeah. <laughs> the walls are covered in hand-painted portraits of Jesus. Alright. We've got this unlocked. We've got it unlocked, but I can't use it. Okay. Ah, alright. Strange mushrooms growing off this plant. Maybe something to do with the frog shine as well. I'm not really sure. You got any frog shine in here? No. No, just fairly normal looking stuff, honestly. Nothing down there. Alright. Now, ah, what's this? Ah, it's padlocked. I wonder what the pasta has to hide. I dread to think at this point. Now, this one's locked as well. As is that. We still have access to his bathroom, though. Or at least his toilet. Nothing there? No. Nope. Alright. Hmm. Is he transformed as well? Is that why I can't find him? The Lord has spoken to me. He lamented the defilement of his name and spoke of a corruption that permeates all of existence. A thick fog that dims all that is holy and righteous, rendering the world past the point of salvation. He then told me of his plans to flood the earth, to drown the false prophets and idols that inundate the lands, to end all mankind. He has chosen me as he did Noah. I must lead his flock to salvation. We must shed our current bodies, full of sin, and embrace a form truly in our Lord's image. That of a frog, as it turns out. What have we got here? 
The book of Genesis, right. Uh, the earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. And he did. Yeah, alright. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, we got a key though! I bet this key opens the padlock door. Ah, alright. Yeah, okay, so let's see what secrets he's got to hide. Nothing down here? Nothing down here. Oh, ent oh, entering this room will end my investigation. I should make sure I'm finished. Right, okay, let's forget about that. Uh, let's keep exploring a little bit, because to be honest, I want to see if I can find a crowbar to get back there. Let's see. There's quite a big area here, and maybe there's actually a gap for me to get to the lake as well. So let's see. Hang on. Nothing back there, no crowbar, no tools. And it's locked up, unfortunately. Alright, we've got a little garden back here. Ah, there we go, there's the crowbar! Yes! I can use this to break open that door in trailer 104. And there's something else to read. The Lord has blessed us with a bountiful harvest. With this wheat and corn, we can produce a ton of frog shine. Then, all we have to do is start getting the frog shine into more and more bars and liquor stores. Billy already started giving it to people at the bar he works at, and it's showing promising results. Soon, everyone, the whole world over, will be singing the Lord's praise. Or croaking it, potentially. Alright. Man, okay. Wait, what we got here? Ah, oh, they welded the door shut with chains. Maybe I could get some bolt cutters or something? There's not another way inside? No. Uh, alright. Ah, over here. Oh no, it looks like it's chained up. Crap. You can bounce on through, can't you? It's a bit of a shame it's all barbed wire. Although this bit isn't. I don't know why I can't climb over or kick that bit of wood down, honestly. Um, maybe after using the crowbar, I'm going to find some bolt cutters or something. Some way to get me through the chains, right? Alright. There we go. Oh, alright. Not a frog man, but quite an odd looking man. It's Mr. Buchanan. He appears to be in some kind of trance. Oh. Best. Obey. Like, right. Turn it off. The video appears to be hypnotic. Better cut it off. There we go. Thank you, he says. Thank you for turning that drivel off. Who are you? Um. I'm with the police. That's my story. I'm going to stick with it. I'm with the police. I'm here to investigate the reports of missing persons in the area. The police? Th thank God! The missing people. They're here. I can help you. But I haven't eaten in days. I can barely keep my head up. I, I need food. Right. He's passed out from hunger. With his eyes open, I guess. There's got to be something around he could eat. Look at all the writing on the wall, by the way. More blood for the master. More more food for the master. Or more brood for the master, I think that says, actually. Croak, croak, croak. More food, more brood. Oh my goodness, right. Um, yeah. Oh no, I, I, that, that's not frog shine. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just drank frog shine. Oh god. Is that a bucket full of... Yeah, never mind. Right. This tape has some kind of hypnotic recording on it. I better bring it back to the lab. Right. Oh, hang on. Someone's calling me. Hello? I see you found Jeremiah. He strayed a little too far from the Lord's light. Yeah, you must be Abram. You must be Thomas Abram, ex-pastor at Heartland Church of Christ. I see my reputation precedes me. That's to be expected for a man of my importance. That's of no matter. It would do you well to leave this land and let us worship in peace. I'll consider it, absolutely not, or just hang up. I mean, I could say I'll consider it, just sort of play along. Yeah. Well, if all you're wanting to do is worship your religion in peace, 
then maybe I could consider letting this all go. Come and join us in service within the caves. Question any member of my flock. You'll see that we all just want to get along. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you too. Jesus Christ. So, the caves? The caves. Where are the caves? Ah, hang on. Carrot soup. This might help Mr. Buchanan feel better. Alright. Ah, oh, there you go. Perfect. Okay. What should I do? Fill the bowl with soup? Okay. Um, well, let's fill the bowl with soup, shall we? Hmm. Okay, it's, it's dubious. Let's bring this to Mr. Buchanan. Maybe I should have tasted it? Or maybe I should have just left it be. I don't I don't actually know. Maybe you know what? Oh god, there's more frog shine. Is there anything, you know, a bit more normal? What about oops, all bones? What about <laughs> the chicken tip nibblers? Can't I feed him that or something instead? I think he's still passed out. What should I do? Well, I've got it now, so let's give him the bowl of soup. Here, have some soup. Hopefully it'll make you feel better. Okay. Oh god, what did you feed me? My insides are on fire. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, okay, that's not good. Shit. What in the hell was in that soup? I didn't mean to put... Wait, is he dead? I just killed him? Well, in that case, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't taste the soup myself, but... Oh, jeez, fuck's sake. I, I should have just... I should have just left it be. Ah, <sighs> okay, right, right. There's still that hulking frogman out there. Um... We are completely done with this area, even with the double wide, it looks like. So, maybe now what I should do is have a look through that padlock door. I want to know what he's got hidden inside that room. This has been a fun game so far. I've made some bad decisions, obviously, but yeah, I I'm looking forward to the full version. If you want to see that on the channel, please let me know about it, alright? Oh, it's a CCTV room. What is all this? Surveillance equipment? All those tapes. Alright. Is that the end of the demo then? Oh. Oh, this is the agency. And it looks like it's the day after. Interrogation Ouroboros. Detective debriefing. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the hell is this place? Alright, looks like we're we're going in here. Okay. Looks like I'm being recorded. Good evening, detective. Good evening. Am I locked in? We hope your investigation was a success. Please have a seat. Okay. Looks like you got various pictures down here. I suppose this is all stuff that I took. Thank you, Detective. Now, our line of work is very dangerous. Right. Especially to those with a weak mind. To combat this, we employ the use of sodium pentothal. Okay. Is that what Think that is? It as a kind of truth-telling serum. Wow. Now, detective, please take the pill on the desk, place it into your mouth, and then swallow it. So, they have no faith in me and they don't trust me either. Why? Why am I working here? What? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh boy. I just keep on getting high in this game, don't I? But there you go, that was the Loveland demo. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, alright? I really quite enjoyed that. Yeah, I was impressed from the get-go by the level of interactivity, and to be honest, it got better from there. I liked the freeform investigating I was doing. There was uh, quite a lot of options, quite a few choices I could make. Some bad ones, obviously. Maybe in the full game, I won't kill the guy that sent me there. Maybe I'll keep Mr. Buchanan alive. Maybe I'll find a way through the gate and actually get onto the dock to investigate what I thought was a body. Maybe I'll get into the caves. Maybe I'll catch up with Pastor Abram. If you want to see the full game on the channel when it's released, let me know about it down below in the comments, alright? But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, okay.
okay, I can turn the wipers on. And I can turn the lights off. Probably want to keep them on, honestly. Good luck, detective. We know you'll need it. <laughs> Sounds like they have absolutely no faith in me. No answer, but it's unlocked. So I'm going to let myself in. Is that how we operate in the agency? Oh, wow. Oh? Oh, I, hopefully I didn't flush down any evidence. <laughs> you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Go get him, champ! <laughs> What's going on with this place, exactly? <laughs> Is anyone in? This is becoming a habit, isn't it? Right. But, whoa! Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Are you actually meant to be that? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, whoa! What is going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to shake it off. Everyone, the whole world over, will be singing the Lord's praise. Or croaking it, potentially. What about oops, all bones? What about like, the chicken tip nibblers? Can't I feed him that or something instead? I didn't mean to put. Wait, is he dead? I just killed him? 